Rocco, we can tell because Rocco has the pyramiding on his shell. That's a sign of malnutrition. His previous owner fed him dog food. Now, the thing is they'll eat anything, but not always stuff that's good for them. So Rocco's got the, the after effects of malnutrition, but we've been feeding him correctly uh, since we've gotten them. They were together for a long time. In fact, you can see over there, the little shelter is a duplex. But then they got old enough and they became territorial and Rocco was actually bigger than Charlie and he would beat up on Charlie. And Charlie got injured a couple of times. So now, now Charlie, they, we switch, switch them once a week. Larry opens the gate and allows them to get through so that they each have a chance at their, their habitat. This is a little bit bigger and this has got a little more sun. So we kind of want to balance it out for them. But Rocco especially likes the red ones. And he says, thank you, Rev Deb. Aren't these hibiscus so beautiful? We're really fortunate here at St. Columba to have just a massive hibiscus tree. And also, we're really fortunate at St. Columba to have such nice neighbors as Larry and Mary Ann Benvenuti. We love them here at St. Columba, and uh, we love them because of all of all their community service. One of their best places that they volunteer is feeding the turtles at Crane Point Hammock. And one day they came to uh, to uh, me and said, Reverend Deborah, we know you have this beautiful hibiscus tree. Would you mind uh, sharing some of the hibiscus flowers with the turtles in the neighborhood? And of course I said, that would be so great. Maybe for three or four years now, the turtles from Crane Point Hammock are being fed by their neighbors, the Benvenutis, and the hibiscus tree at St. Columba Episcopal Church. That's one of the things to love about the city of Marathon.